atmosphere is chic. The ingredients are fresh, and their burritos are huge. Our legal signature burrito is, it's, you know, up to three and a half pounds. The original burrito started in the 16th century, when Aztec Indians used tortillas to wrap their food, making it easier to eat on the go. Over the last 50 years, the burrito has become a standard part of every chain restaurant, serving the simple burrito for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So if you've always thought of the burrito as the fast food drive through item, think again. Izzo's has opened a new chapter in the life of the burrito. The restaurant is Izzo's. Izzo's Illegal Burrito. It started as an experimental eatery in 2001, tailor-made for the students of LSU. Students quickly began lining up for quesadillas, tacos, burritos in a bowl, nachos, and the illegal burrito. They will give you like gigantic burritos. Everything's bigger than you think it's going to be. They got the best burritos in town. Everyone in Baton Rouge wonders who introduced them to this oversized burrito and where did the idea come from? But the first question that comes to mind is who is this Izzo? My brother nicknamed me Izzo. He just started calling me Izzo. I'm not sure how or why, but uh, when I was coming up with a name for the restaurant, Izzo just sounded better than Ozzy's. Ozzy Fernandez, which is almost Izzo spelled backwards, finished college and culinary school before partnering with Gary Kovacs to create the first Mexican fast casual concept at the South Gates of LSU. A lot of people don't know to this day that we started here in Baton Rouge. We're, we are a local company. Izzo's opened its first restaurant next to LSU and quickly started growing throughout Baton Rouge and Louisiana. In less than 10 years, a seventh Izzo's will be opening this summer in Covington. We're doing things a little differently than, than maybe my, my grandparents had done. Izzo's has a menu of just five Mexican food items. Regular burritos, burritos in a bowl, tacos, quesadillas, and nachos. Izzo sells burritos and tacos, but lets you pick out your own toppings. You can put how much you want, how much you don't want. It's not pre-made things that are wrapped up and put under warmers. It's all freshly made when you order it. I feel like I'm eating more healthy. Izzo's offers more than the simple choice of chicken or steak. There are four types of tortillas, five types of meat, or mushrooms for the vegetarians, three types of beans, and a wide assortment of fresh vegetable toppings and sauces. Our guests will fully customize their, their burrito, their tacos, their quesadillas with all the fresh ingredients that we have. The line starts with the selection of the tortilla, and instructions are given for each topping at the request of the customer. And you don't have to like explain, I don't want this or anything. You can just make it exactly how you want it. You basically get to choose what goes onto your quesadilla or burrito. First step is peeling all the aluminum away so you have a place to bite. The three and a half pound burrito remains clean and hot as you work your way through. I love it. Izzo's Illegal Burrito uses all fresh ingredients like fresh corn, tomatoes, and 100% fresh Haas avocados. Izzo's offers catering to small and large parties. Izzo's has three Baton Rouge locations, on Burbank Drive at the gates of LSU, on Blue Bonnet, and on Corporate Boulevard at City Place. And Izzo's is open seven days a week for lunch and dinner. For a delicious, healthy meal prepared just the way you want it, Baton Rouge is the home of one of America's fastest growing chains, Izzo's Illegal Burritos.